Welcome to Vlogmas 2020, where I am vlogging every day in December leading up to Christmas. Hello, happy Vlogmas! In this video, I'm gonna share with you the items that I carry in my store. You can see it's kinda of dark back here, um, but we're gonna to go totally on natural light today. I forgot to plug in the trailer, or the store, um, but there's gonna be enough light that you're gonna be able to see things, so it'll still be good. But this video is actually in response to a request that was made uh, for me to show you what I actually have in my store. And I started, when I first started this business, my objective was to support American alpacas. Of course, I'm an uh, American alpaca owner and my herd is in America. And so we produce American goods and they're completely processed within the country. And I wanted to stick with that and stick with American made, American grown items. So when I started, I was sticking with that. And when I had my store in Alma, I stuck with that with very few exceptions. However, when my mother opened the location in Chicago, she was buying stuff from wherever. Like she, she bought mainly on if she liked the item or if she thought other people would like the item. And she knew I preferred American, but... Again, we just kind of experimented. And so as a result, because those two locations merged, I now have a mix of items. But I tell you now, I am selling through the non-American items and working towards when I can be completely American, grown American made items again. So let me take you around the store and show you what I got. I'm gonna start off with hats. They are, of course, you could see hanging on the wall, but also that first shelf. Those are all hats, or in this case, over here, this is a mask, a full, full on mask with just the uh, opening for the eyes. But with the exception of this pile over here, everything is American grown, American made. Um, and I do have the vast majority of this stuff on my website except for a few things in this pile here. Um, then I have a selection of scarves. This is a mix of American made and Peruvian made. Um, I love alpaca fiber for the winter goods. Like they are so exceptional in the feel and in their durability um, and in their performance. I yeah, I raise alpacas, but I also really, really enjoy the products that we get from them. And then moving down here, I have a selection of, over here are doggy coats, uh, small and medium. If you're interested in those, just message me because at this point they are not on the website. Then I have what is remaining of our stuffed animals, either looking like alpaca or made of alpaca fiber on the outside. Next to them, I have a couple sets of coasters and hot pads, all made of felted alpaca, and those are American goods. Those boxes are not supposed to be there. <laughs> I just didn't want them sitting over in the sun, um, which they were behind me. Um, I need to find a place in here. Those are the dryer balls. I need to find a place in here um, to put them, put that. 
that'll do in a little bit. Um, but then you see a stack of seating mats and you use those wherever you sit. They're going to keep you warm in the winter and cool in the summer and give a little cushion for your tushy. And I really like those. Those are made from um, my herds fiber. When I say rug fiber, this is one of the items that would be made from the rug fiber. So when I was introducing you to some of, well, actually to all of my herd and for some of them, especially some of my older girls, I said, oh no, they're just all rug fiber. That's what I mean. The, I use it for items like this. And next to them is a pile of two by three rugs. Um, those are, I believe those are all on my website, but you know, in November and December, I believe it was November of 2020. So last month, I, some of you are going to be watching this video quite, quite a bit in the future. So November of 2020, I did live videos each day on the Facebook page, our Butterfield Pack Ranch Facebook page. Um, and I went category by category and showed everything that is in here. Like I went through that whole pile and I showed all the variety of the mats and of the rugs. Um, and I took 10 days to show everything that is in here. Okay, so moving down the way, we have a selection of gloves and mittens and fingerless gloves, as well as this right here would be what's called wrist warmers. Um, so I have some items for full coverage or partial coverage of your hands. Like if you work at an office at a computer a lot, uh, wearing something like this or the fingerless gloves really, really can help. I've had jobs like that, so I know. <laughs> I have down here my uh, shoe inserts, which I always say, if you have this and alpaca socks, your feet are always happy. I have them in all of my boots and they really, really work. <laughs> they are actually a uh, number two bestseller for me. Then moving on to the socks, I have my top two socks which are the survival socks here. They're a medium weight sock. That is my most, most popular. And the second most popular sock is called the Outdoorsman Alpaca Sock, which is a heavyweight sock. Uh, on the website, you will find a chart for sizing to help you out based on your shoe size. Then over here, I have socks that were in the Chicago store. So they are uh, Peruvian alpaca sourced. I think for the most part, and with the exception of these over here, which are not footies, but they're more meant for summer. Um, oh, no show socks. That's what they call them. No show socks. So, um, those are more of a summer item and I will keep those, but the rest of them in like these four sections right here, um, are just going to be sold through. But again, all that's on the website. I have the Alpaca Opoly game, which is super, super fun. And uh, I should, I did have a, a picture of that on the Facebook page at one time when I, my family played it. You get to build your own alpaca farm in the game. All right, I have on display, um, it's not a shawl, it's not a wrap. What would this be called? Poncho. It's called the Flamingo Poncho, and that is on the website. Now we're moving over into the fiber arts section. So I have all of the knitting needles, crochet hooks, and all of the tools and doodads related to knitting and crochet. And down at the bottom, I have a couple of knitty knotties for the spinners. And then we get into the selection of yarn. I can't even get it all in the shot. And at the bottom I have roving and comb top. All of these things are on the website. Okay, so here is one of the exceptions that I made in my Alma store for the American Grown American Made. Um, and that is with the Blue Sky I think they're called Blue Sky Fibers now, but they used to be called Blue Sky Alpaca. And I have some of their items because they did, ran a limited edition series 
of yarns that were made down in the Shepherd's Mill, like my local mill, in which those items were American sourced and American made, and I wanted to carry that line. Well, to place an order with the company, it was like a minimum dollar order, so I ordered some other things as well, and I still have some of those things. Um, and they're all now discounted on my store because I just want to run through them. As beautiful as they are, they are absolutely beautiful, but they don't fit with, you know, what I'm going for with my business. Um, now, not all of this is alpaca. I have a few exceptions to that as well which is from Brown Sheep Company, all across the top here is wool. Um, and Brown Sheep Company is a yarn company here in Nebraska. So I wanted to support my state yarn company. Uh, they don't, uh, do they even have alpaca in any of their stuff? Maybe one, I don't know. But they're mostly wool. And I also wanted to carry it because I was teaching knitting and crochet classes. And this Lanoloft single ply wool yarn is great to start off with, to learn with. I love the single ply. I like the wool, that it's very forgiving. It comes in all these wonderful colors. And so that's why I wanted to carry it. So some of that stuff in here is from them, including cotton down there, which is great for spring and summer. Um, this is, I just told you this is roving, which comes from the shepherd's mill. And then this is comb top which comes from Meadow Mountain Wool, I believe, which is Wyoming. Oh, let me show you the companies that I carry here. The Shepherd's Mill, Imperial Yarn out of Oregon, Brown Sheep Company here in Nebraska, Meadow Mountain Wool in Wyoming, and I did tell you that there is, um, what is this one? What did I just say it was? Blue sky. I had all these things coming in my mind and I knew it wasn't right. <laughs> so it's a very wonderful selection of yarn, let me tell you. And then this last little section has quite a bit in it. I have these two containers. This one has hand felted soaps, which my mother has made, and that is something we're going to do more of. It's a natural coconut based soap on the inside. The white you see is American wool. No. Sorry, the white you see is fiber from our own animals, and then the color is American wool. So that's felted together. Um, my mom calls it soap in a blanket. <laughs> so I have a couple of those. Those are not on the website, but once we start making more, I will put those up. And then we have alpaca cookie cutters. I have two sizes. This is a crinkle one, and then there's a straight one. The straight one's a little bigger. And in this one, there's alpaca felted animals. Look at these, all different animals. I got fish, frogs. I've sold through some of them. There's a chick. Sorry, there's a chick. Um, there's a parrot. Not doing a very good job of showing you, but there you go. Uh, these here are bird nesting balls. We use absolutely everything that comes off the alpaca. So the bird nesting balls, we use pretty much the, the short bits, the coarse bits. They can't be used for much of anything else. But the birds can use it to make their nest. It actually is quite wonderful for what they need it for. So this is something that you just kind of hang off of a tree outside somewhere. You can see it comes with a rope on it. So you just hang it outside. And the birds will come and take a little bit at a time and build their nests. All right. And then I have a selection of garments. Um, if you want to see what those are, you can go back to that uh, Facebook. You know what? I will link all of those posts, the Facebook Live videos that I did of all of my stuff down in the description box. So you can easily find that. But there was one video that I went through all of the garments. And then finally, I have my bigger rugs. These are five by seven size. And again, in the video, I open them all up and I showed all the details of them. And there you go. I hope you have a fabulous day today and I will see you tomorrow for more of Vlogmas 2020.